Well, one for the boys. Um, you have to look at the bigger picture. My view is anything that's going to uh, educate, especially uh, uh, the caveman uh, about being healthier. Guy will listen to his mates if his mates say, you should go, you should go. But of course, they've got to be the ones saying that anyway. Uh, peer pressure uh, for the positive is really good. I lost uh, my biological father, two of his sisters, and a brother all to cancer. Breast cancer is not gender specific. And when I went through my episode, um, the realization of that was quite shocking. There's just so much you can do now that uh, you just, you have to have a responsibility. And not embarrassed to talk about it, or at least not embarrassed to go and see a specialist uh, to be checked out. A lot of guys don't think about their families and who you leave behind. I just heard a story of, um, of, a, of a guy who was told eight months, he was told for eight months, you should get this checked out. And by the time he left it, it was bowel cancer, it was too late, and, and he very quickly lost his life. His son won't get himself checked. It's in the family, but he won't get himself checked. I think it's, it's important um, to speak out, you know, don't be afraid. Uh, if, there's, if there's a question, you know, trust your instincts. Trust your instincts. And uh, that's the easiest way. Don't be dumb. Be smart. Take care of your body and make sure, you know, you check every now and again to make sure everything's fine. And the best way to do that is to go to the doctor. There are many brilliant cancer charities, but this one specifically to say, guys, you know, this is just for you. And you have to be aware that simple detection, knowing your body, checking yourself, could mean the difference between life and death. I think the more information we have, the better armed we are. And I'm not shy about saying that, and I don't filter myself when I say it's time for you to get checked. I think we can change mentality, and we've got to do it at a, uh, with a strong voice, uh, and we've got to do it with a united voice, but we've also got to do it at a young age, so young people pick up that message. Young men grow up getting used to uh, the idea that they've got to look after their body. Generally, generally guys have got to be careful about stiff upper lip uh, when it comes to medicine. You know, we talk about everything else, but um, I see my daughter, you know, everything's an owl or an ooh, you know, and she's always got a little boo-boo. And my son, you know, gets waxed himself pretty good and doesn't say much. So I, I think it's, it's important to speak out, you know, don't be afraid. Uh, if, there's, if there's a question, you know, trust your instincts. Trust your instincts. You know, I've been surprised by several friends who said, yeah, I just had a, you know, procedure and, you know, I'm getting ready to go to chemo now. And it's like, well, you never said anything. You know, and they were like, well, you know, we were having that thing and then I saw that thing you were doing in the UK and I decided to get checked and I, and I had something and it happened. If one for the boys can help one boy, um, then, you know, it's done its job. You know, if it's prostate cancer or it's prostate detection, it's a finger. You know, that's all it is. But the finger between life and death, and blokes go, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. Well, why? You know, there are, there are, there are new ways of doing it. There are blood tests and other things they can do now, and everybody doesn't have to have a fear of going out and being gloved and 